Hello everyone, this is SK here. In this tutorial, you're going to see how to associate a file type in it into your application. So in this tutorial, I'm going to create an image viewer that is used to view an image that's a JPEG image by default. So this is being done using Visual Studio 2008 and I'm programming in C Sharp. And this is going to be a WPF application. So open your Visual Studio 2008 and hit create project then in the project types choose the WPF application project template and give a name as image viewer and hit OK so the basic concept behind this project is you're going to process the command line arguments that is being passed to your application so in this case I'm going to set the WPF application to accept jpeg files so when the user clicks the jpeg file the file name will be passed as an argument to my application and so my application will that uh, will take that path and load the image in the image component present in the wpf application so we need to have two projects in my solution only one project is being created now that's the wpf application another one is the setup project which is used to associate wpf file to accept the JPEG files that's present in the system. So to do that, I have to add a new project and hit other project types and hit setup deployment. And in the templates, you just use setup wizard and you give the name as image viewer setup. And okay, so the wizard appears, hit next, next, and sorry. Here you have to select the primary output from the image viewer such that your output is being installed in your system during the setup. So then you just hit hit and come to next and finish. Here you have to associate the JPEG file right to your application. So you have to click the image viewer setup project, right click it and choose view and file types. You have to add a new file type. And there you'll be asked for the extensions in the properties and give JPG and when the user clicks a JPG your application should understand the JPEG file so choose browse an application folder your primary output of your application and hit OK so this enables you to link the JPEG file and your application so now hit save and the setup part is over now we'll go to the WPF application and here I'm going to use two components the text block component and the image component so I'll paste the image component here the image component will be having the image that's being opened by the user so it must be quite wide enough and the text block component will contain the path of the image that's been loaded in the image component so make it big enough so that your full path is known and hit save and now moving on to your coding part as I've told I'm going to process the arguments right so I'll be creating two variables uh, first one is a string array this will be having my arguments and another string that will be the path of the image file that is going to be loaded into the image component so first I'm going to get my command line arguments and get stored into my variable so for that you have to have you got environmental environment dot get command line arguments function loads the command line arguments that is passed to your application to your variable and now I'm going to call a method called process image such that my image component gets filled with the image that I want so create the method and you got to process the path such that the path is equal to path is equal to arguments that is being passed
usually arguments length will be one plus the actual length that is when considering arrays we'll be starting with zeros right in but the length will be starting from one so i'm just minusing a one so that my correct path string gets stored in the path variable and now i'm going to process the image using bitmap image class this is the image class that's used in wpf to process all the images that's being used for the image component and here you have to initialize the image so the image must be loaded from the path so i'm going to load the source with the new uri mentioning the path as my argument and close the initialization using end initialize method and now i have the image component that's having my image so i have to load the image into my image component right so for that i have to choose image one that's the name of the image component image one dot uh, source is equal to image so this loads the image into my image component so then i have to load the path to my text block so this is the text block name and i have to load the path of the image to the text block so i give path i just saved and hit build then hit build after your build process is finished you hit build for your setup project too so the setup project takes a little bit longer than the usual WPF project for building so wait for the build is finished and there you have build succeeded so you just go to your project folder this is my project folder so you just hit setup and your setup gets loaded and uh, your application gets installed in your system after installing your application you can just go to your jpeg files and open those jpeg files in in your application so i'll just show how is it done and here your application gets installed and you go to your pictures and then you have a file jpeg file that's being mentioned as jpeg and you can you choose open with then your image viewer that you have created will appear in the menu hit that image viewer there you have your application gets loaded with the image that you have selected and the path of the image above so this is how to create a simple image viewer with file associations where you can have so much interactivity so this is how it's done so thanks for watching and we'll be back in another interesting tutorial bye